Okay YouTube, welcome back. Today we're going to be sanding down the countertop and applying our top coat. I got the 600 grit ultra fine sandpaper that Gianni recommends. I have cut one of the pieces and applied it to my sanding block. And it says just to run your hand over and I can feel in a few spots where pieces of the foam, if you get really close you can see, pieces of the foam have um, got in. So I'm thinking that's the areas that they say any raised spots um, that we're going to be sanding off. Um, and then it also says you could do once over on the whole thing to make sure that you've got a nice level surface. It'll give you a much cleaner, sleeker result at the end. So that's what I'm going to be going to be doing next. And then you just give it a light spray. Then I'll bring you back and we'll roll on the top coat. Okay, so the sanding actually went really, really easily. Um, it took down all of the little bumps and grooves. I didn't go over it very hard, just one little swipe and did great. So I'm just going to give it a quick wipe down. Diani says just to give it a quick wipe because we just got all that sandpaper grit on it. And I'm just using a microfiber cloth so that it'll pick up any of the dust really easily and as well um, distribute the moisture really well too. And then we're going to let that dry and I will come back and show you the top coat. Okay, we're back and it's time to apply our top coat. Step three roller. I'm going to give this a good shake. Open it up with our screwdriver and dump a bit onto my paint tray. Okay, so we're going to start on the backsplash. And I'm just going to use the foam brush, which I've brushed off ahead of time. And we're going to cut in along the top. Just going to do this one side first. And I'm going to start at the top. And I kind of learned when I was doing the primer that you want the roller to um, you can't go this way with just a little piece of it touching. You want to use the whole roller touching. Or it just doesn't roll on as well. And now that it's on, we're going to go over it one last time. Because this one has a sharp edge. I can't really roll down and over. So I have to do it in two steps there. And that's just to get a nice thin coat. which looks a bit thick in the um, back because that was going on with my brush. So I want to make sure I don't go quite as Thick with the brush, I think, next time. And now we'll do the backsplash on the next person. And I'm just going to go to the sink. And again, to make it nice and thin, we're going to go over that section.
There we go. Now we're going to go over and do the part that's out of camera. Okay, I just wanted to do a quick little close-up. Those spots that I was worried about it being too thick. Let's see if you can get in here and see. Along the bottom ridge. And along this top ledge here. This is three and a half hours into drying time and they are still quite wet. wet. The opaqueness of the paint is thinning but it's going to be taking longer to dry than the four hours I've got it on there too thick in those creases. So I'm going to actually bring in a heater into this room to hopefully speed up drying time because I really wanted to get this done tonight. I'm back to work tomorrow. So I'm going to bring that in and see if it'll increase our drying time. Everything else, the countertop, definitely dry to touch, no concerns there, and it's looking fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, welcome back. Um, I re-sanded again and applied our second coat of top sealant. And now I have let that dry to the point it's dry to touch. So I'm going to cut in with a razor blade around the edges and remove that tape. Should give us a nice clean, oh yay, finished edge. It looks like a little bit of black got in there. Now the black original paint that we put down the primer was a water soluble paint, so I should be able to um, touch those up. But there you are, I'm going to remove it all and clean it all up, and I will be back to show you the final results. Okay, YouTube, just wanted to do a final little close up for you. Um, we've redone all the caulking around the edges. Just used a clear caulk and cleaned up all of the edges along the top backsplash, back wall as well. And there we are. I hope you enjoyed this series. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more DIYs.